Welcome to Late Show. Thank you so much, everybody. Welcome, one. Welcome, all. I'm Stephen Colbert, your host this evening, and there is huge news in the election. Right now, the latest polls show that Hillary Clinton is tied with Donald Trump. That is amazing. Isn't that amazing? Right now, the exact same number of Americans don't want to vote for Hillary as don't want to vote for Donald Trump. It's just completely, it's locked, it's very, I don't know. Does this mean, I'm not sure what this means, what I'm doing right here, but it feels right. <laughs> Ever since the damning FBI report about Hillary Clinton's private email servers came out, her poll numbers have not looked good. Though, the truth is, she may have, you know, much better numbers hidden on her private server. We don't know. <laughs> and now, now, now she's in a dead heat. A dead heat with Donald Trump, even though in the key swing states of Ohio and Pennsylvania, and this is true, Trump is currently getting zero percent support from black voters. Now, zero. Yes. Now, obviously, obviously, every poll has a margin of error, so it could actually be negative three percent. We don't know. At this point, their match absolutely perfectly even. At this point, the future of our country is basically, it's basically, it's a coin toss, okay? All right, so let, let's do it right now. Let's figure out what's gonna be. Heads, Clinton, uh, tails, Trump. Let's see who the next president's gonna be. And I don't wanna know. Okay. <laughs> I don't. A little queasy, a little queasy. <laughs> of course, those polls might be about to change dramatically because Donald Trump, and I don't know if you guys know this because you've been in line waiting to get into the show, Donald Trump <laughs> has made his vice presidential pick. Yeah. It came down to three choices, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Indiana Governor Mike Pence, and former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. A diverse group if you go by bowling ability. They were all, <laughs> all over the map. But now... Trump has made his selection. Breaking news from campaign 2016. CBS News has learned that Donald Trump has chosen the governor of Indiana, Mike Pence. That's right, Mike Pence. <laughs> and you can tell from the excitement in this room. <laughs> That's electric. Now, you, you may know Mike Pence from not knowing who Mike Pence is. <laughs> but... INDIANA GOVERNOR MIKE PENCE IS NO STRANGER TO HEADLINES. HEADLINES LIKE, WHO IS INDIANA GOVERNOR MIKE PENCE? <laughs> NOW... <laughs> NOW, IT TURNS OUT, WHEN THE STORY THAT TRUMP PICKED HIM WAS BEING REPORTED, TRUMP HADN'T CALLED MIKE PENCE YET. <laughs> SO, MIKE, IF YOU'RE WATCHING, SURPRISE! <laughs> IT'S GOING TO BE FUN. It's gonna be fun, I promise you. Good choice, good choice. Yay, Pence. The question is, of course, why Pence? Well, Trump has said for weeks now he was looking for an attack dog. And the white haired, square jawed Pence might be just the ticket. Matter of fact, we just got some footage of Mike Pence debating the Democrats in the Indiana legislature. Take that! Take that! Medical family leave! Hey! Hey! Thank you. I'm not sure if you're applauding that joke or you just love Johnny Quest so much. Hey! Though so I gotta say, Trump may not let Haji into the country. We have to see. Hey! No, it's true. It's his policy, not mine. It's his policy, not mine.